So after frog, we'll move into a seated tree position. Again, get your blocks for a nice little chair here. Seated, I can get my towel or my strap. And me too, I also like to put a block underneath this knee. Yeah. And it's all about trying to keep your chest high because you see some people that could just lay right over their leg. I'm not one of those people. So a little bit of pressure, feel it in your hamstrings, releasing your lower back. Again, yeah. I have I have three blocks going on here. And his spine is actually quite straight right now, which is good. And then when you switch, release, find what's good on your on your Botswana. Again, under this. And sometimes if this is putting pressure here on your knee, I sometimes will do this with my foot on the ground. And again, with seated four folds, it's a lot like seated tree. I'll take one or two blocks, put them under my knees so I'm not hyperextending. Maybe my feet. But again, it's about keeping my chest high, shoulders rolled back. Good. So reverse tabletop, like this. Here. Even if, if that's as far as you can go for reverse tabletop, that's fine. Um, but just, you know, start a little bit at a time, feet out, hands facing towards your feet. Really, this is a counter pose to all of the forward folding that we were doing. So just trying to open the front part of your body back up again. Fish. For fish, uh, what helps me is I like to sit on my hands. So, sitting in my hands, trying to get your elbows close into each other, and point your feet. And the important part here is really just your chest. Yeah, this is, I mean, if this is all you got, that's all you got. Some blocks back here. Sit on your hands again. And that's it. Feels good.